Well, we are back once again. Dustin is here. Getting ready to put some floor joists in this area here. I actually, well, Dustin and I have been talking about it. We need to seal off this concrete pad before we go much further with the roof system that you guys saw in the last video. Um, I was gonna insulate the floor from the bottom plate in and then up the walls, obviously. But I'm concerned that any moisture that ends up in this area of the roof cavity, that concrete that's out beyond the bottom plate is probably going to absorb water. So we're gonna get backer plates in, just like you see there. We're gonna move those four out to the edge of the concrete and then next week, I've got a guy coming in that's gonna spray some closed cell foam on top of this entire floor system all the way out to the edge to seal off that concrete and ensure that no moisture can get through. But as always, I got a new blade for the little skill saw. It's six and a half. The only thing the place had where I went last week was uh, seven and a quarters. And you know, the typical, that stripped out. So I've got to take the grinder and make it try and get a socket on there. There's always something. Anyway, let's get this off of there so we can get a blade on there and we can start cutting blockers for dust to install from the outside. Like we got just a little bit more to take off right there and we'll have it. this thing before me but they sure did over tighten it <sighs> let's see if we can figure this out I'm getting aggravated all right well the blade fiasco is over the wrench did, or the socket didn't work we end up having to use pliers but I gave us a flat spot so that's better than anything so now what we got to do is we got to get these floor joists extended all the way out over top of the concrete pad out there so what I'm gonna do is I'll pull the dimension. I'm gonna go, looks like three feet back from where the bottom plate will be. I'm gonna trim this inside joist off completely. And there's, there's a double joist here. So if I get this one off of here, we can run the new one in line with the outside and splice across this. So let's get this cut.
number one. Now we just do that one more time, we'll be ready to go. All right, we got all that framed in. We're gonna leave them tails run wild. You guys obviously know now, I'm trying to figure out if I can do a three level addition to basically utilize this as the subfloor. The steps would attach to that header right out there that sits on the edge of the concrete. You might ask, why are you foaming this off? Well, at the beginning of this video, I said we figured out we need to seal this concrete off before we build the entire roof. So we're putting blocking in and we got to seal that blocking off because the spray foam guy is going to come in here with rig that sprays thousands of PSI. He's going to spray all this in closed cell foam. I've decided we can support those two boards with the headers, if you will, that are on the ends. So I am not going to fill that in with concrete. I'm going to have him spray that completely closed with closed cell foam to ensure that no air can leak through. But one thing that we do have to ensure we have is these blockers that I'm talking about. He can't come in here and spray that and seal it off unless we've got a blocker right out there, 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 and so on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work all the way around this thing and get those blockers in and get them foamed so that he can come in this coming week, spray this floor system, the concrete pad, seal it off completely with closed cell foam, and then we can get back to framing up the roof and cover it up because if we cover it first he may not be able to get to some of that.
Hey Matt. Hi. I need new friends. You need new friends? Yeah, this is terrible. Terrible? Where do you think this goes to? <laughs> no man's land. That's a fact. It looks like it gets brighter down there. Oh, I believe it probably goes to that outlet down at the bottom that goes to just fresh air intake. Okay. Probably something we're gonna clog up. So just keep beating on the concrete? Unless you think we can seal over top the concrete that's on top of concrete that's on top of concrete. This is like being in a chain gang, just beating on concrete. Yeah. You're, you're gonna did, look sorry for me. You're doing a good job though. All right, I'll keep beating on concrete. I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, let's go around here. Matt's got us cutting this house wrap. River looks cool. It's about the only cool thing about this friendship is getting to see the river and the view. Otherwise, I think he's mean to me. But that's okay. All right, you guys can watch me cut this. All right, we got that part demoed out. I think now we can see the concrete around here, which is getting way more sketchy to walk around it. So definitely gotta be on our toes. We'll just carry that on around and that should work out pretty well, I believe. And then we got Matt in here doing what he does best. What? Yep. All right, give you all a little update. These out here had blocker boards on them already. And a lot of you might say, man, you're putting an awful lot of foam out there. And the foam that was there before was doing nothing but holding moisture. And yes, you're correct. The previous foam was doing nothing 
but holding moisture and letting it get down to that concrete pad. We're going to use closed cell foam. I'm wanting to seal this concrete off, but that closed cell foam gun, as I mentioned earlier, has a whole lot more PSI than that little guy right there. So what, all we're doing out here is sealing it up to where his foam doesn't just blow through the gaps. This way he's got solid backers to go against and then he'll seal this foam here will seal it but his closed cell foam will seal against our foam and the concrete and the foam before did not have a roof over it our foam will have a roof over it An so awesome roof. this is to ensure moisture does not creep into the concrete any further than the exterior wall which then is sealed limestone see that not my fingers crossed that's the thought process that's what we believe will work so that's what we're going to do let's keep this going Well, there you have it. We got the rest of the floor joist in that gets us all the way out to that corner over to the original roof. We've got all of our blocker boards in. This one's shorter. It doesn't actually go out there. It comes in right in here. I'm hopeful that he can fill these voids in completely with closed cell foam. Got everything foamed off. Got everything cleaned up. Let's not talk about my nightmare of a tool chest, if you will. You guys can see how we've got the blockers going around. That's kind of what the tower does underneath. Those blocks are sitting right on the edge. And yes, this seals off this top concrete, but when we go to put the soffit around the bottom side of the floor joists and the fascia board, we'll foam the front side of those blocks as well to ensure that no moisture blows up under them. All of them have tar paper under them. But that was the goal for today. Get ready for the foam, guys. And as you can see, we are there. Everything cleaned up nice in here. The steps still look like crap, but that don't matter. We're spraying foam only on concrete. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, like, comment, subscribe.